Good day. This is an iPhone charging cable, but really it isn't. This is actually a um, cheap Chinese clone of a iPhone charging cable. I'm very rough on my cables, so I buy these in bulk, about uh, 10 at a time. I think it's 10 for 10 bucks usually. Uh, 10 for 10 bucks Canadian, that is. And uh, they stop working about six months to a year after I get them, so I replace them with another one, and so on and so on. This one just stopped working, and I'm kind of curious as to see if the connections in here broke or if the connections in here broke. I don't think it's broken along the length, but anyways, we'll take a look. So I'm going to zoom in on these plugs, and we're going to see if we can find the fault and repair the fault. So I figured I would start at this end and you'll see the background is this nice green. It's because I need to bring up my workbench if I want to zoom you in. And um, yeah, you'll see that this connector was actually dented in transit. I just bent it back and it's been working fine, except for now. So let's see if I can, these are usually glued, so let's see if I can pull this apart. This one's not very well glued. Oh, well. I guess that was simple. So I've got the fault right off the bat. So let's see. The solder looks okay here. Not great. Let's see if I can get something to point with. Looks all right over here. This one's broken right off. But it looks like looks like I could just retin this and put it back onto here. Now my only problem is uh, my soldering iron tips are elsewhere. So I have to use uh, this massive guy. Looks like I should be able to make it work. Let me set myself up, warm up the iron, and we'll see if we can re-solder this guy onto this guy and see if we can get this working. So let's give that a shot. Okay, so I had to tame down the exposure quite a bit here. Let's give this a shot. No, no guarantees, obviously. But uh, whether I fail or I succeed, you're going to see this anyway. So my plan is to clean the soldering iron tip. So, whoops, this guy here. Sorry if it's a little dark. I had to because this is very white and reflective. Okay, I'm going to clean it up. I'm going to um, add some lead solder onto this pad and onto this wire. So here I go. I'm going to do that now. Want to make sure that wire is nice and tinned. Okay, clean that again. This is really hard to do from my vantage point, but here goes. Okay, melted a bit of the plastic there. I should be able to grab this. Oh, I don't know. I don't know how that's going to go. Let's see. I'm going to try to put this into the white the white blue tack. Don't know if that's done it. Let me inspect this closer. So there it is. It is ugly as sin, but I do believe that is well soldered on. Now the next step, how are we going to prevent this from happening again? Well, I would say hot glue. So let me warm that up and see you then. All right, hot glue gun is warmed up. So the plan would be to get all these four wires encapsulated. And while the hot glue is still hot and molten, I'm going to slide this cap over. I may burn myself, but hey, that's what you guys are here for, right? So here it goes. I'm going to put a nice generous gob because it can always cut off the excess after. Okay, here it goes. Try to keep that in shut. Come on. Get in there. Okay, that's in. And now I'm just going to wipe the excess off. Got some tweezers here. Oh, it's already solidifying. There we go. So this will have the added benefit of being harder to take the cap off again. 
and the wires shouldn't break off again. Here's hoping. So there you go, like a sub one dollar cable, probably repaired. So now let's uh, let's take a look, see if it's actually fixed. So all that's left is testing this thing. And how do I test it? Well, I got here a power bank. This is a Xiaomi, Xiaomi Mi. Yeah, something like that. 10,000 milliamp hour power bank. I have a charger doctor here, which I'll probably have to adjust the lighting so you can see. Oh, there we go. It's showing 5.09 volts. I'll plug the other end of this cable into my iPhone off to the side because I do have real information in my iPhone and here it goes let me just shade this a little bit 5.09 the other way obviously and here it goes yeah there we go 4.99 volts and we are drawing 510 milliamps and that's just because this power bank is kind of lackluster so there you have it oh it's dropping down 0 0.5 amps my phone is at 68 percent state of charge so there you go back up to 500 milliamps that's about what I would expect of the board on this Xiaomi power bank so there we go short video today just showing you how if it's already broken you might as well take a look at it because you can't break it any worse right so take it apart see if you can fix it if you can't at least you learn something if you can then your one dollar cable will last you just a little bit longer thanks for watching